Continuing with exam revision, Da Hyong has asked, can I explain translation? So, okay, do you want me to translate that from English to Korean? Okay, in that case, we need to translate it from DNA language to protein language. That's exactly what we mean by translation, the same meaning of the word. We're taking a DNA language, which is based on A, C, T's and G's, and we are converting it to a protein language. Now that protein language is based on amino acids, methionine, lysine, etc. So we are translating it. Now how does it happen? It happens in a ribosome. Our DNA can't leave the nucleus. So in transcription, it's copied to messenger RNA. We leave the DNA where it's safe, and the copied message, well not copied message, the complementary base pair made message, is sent out to the ribosome. Our message arrives. Here it is, single-stranded mRNA, drawn badly. And either it enters a ribosome or the ribosome clamps around it. Depends which book you read, but I think the ribosome clamping around it is now got more followers. You'll notice, if I had drawn this well, there is something like nine free bases exposed here. Now the first three bases, A, U, G, will have a tRNA somewhere out here with the complementary pair on it. Somewhere out here there'll be a tRNA with the complementary anticodon to the AUG codon, U, A, C. Now this will have an amino acid that matches U, A, C at the top methionone, if I remember correctly, being the start codon. Now this will come through and fit onto its complementary pair from the mRNA. So this will come and fit in here. I'm not going to try and draw it under here, but it's sticking out. And it's got methionine on the top. Now our next three bases will also have a code. There will be another tRNA somewhere that is complementary to that, probably with a different amino acid. So let's make it different. Now that will match up with the next three. tRNA is in here, out the top is our amino acid. A third tRNA will match up with the next three bases. So we end up with three tRNAs in here and three different, yep there's the banana, amino acids. Now what happens is a bond forms between these amino acids. And like anywhere else, when one bond forms, another bond is broken. The tRNA is now free to move. It's not bonded here. It gets rejected. And off it goes, but this time minus the amino acid it had at the top. This heads off somewhere else to have a new amino acid put on it. Now, there's nothing in this position. Our RNA moves down one slot. There will be three more bases exposed. A new tRNA will match up with that. The next bond is made. The next bond is broken. So each time we do this, a new bond is formed. Another amino acid to tRNA bond is broken. The tRNA is kicked out it moves across again. So we go from a language where everything is in messenger RNA to a language where everything's built of amino acids. Now, a couple of you have just asked, yes, it was Da Hyung again, why are there three here? The initial model, what we find in a lot of books, only has two tRNA sites. Well, up till a couple of years ago, it was believed there were two. I'm not sure why, but now they believe there are three tRNA binding sites in a ribosome. And from what I understand, looking at old marking schedules, the IB now prefers the model with three tRNA binding sites on our ribosome. This process will continue all the way down, all the way down, till we get to the end, there will be a stop codon, which really means finish and let go of the developed polypeptide.